did the city kind of have they been dragging their feet oh you've been you've been very aware of the situation they're not approved by the city of victoria Hi, I'm Julian Colesuit. I'm a multimedia journalist at Czech News here in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. And today I want to bring you along to see what it looks like to be a video journalist in television news. So it's just a little bit before 8 a.m. and we've got our morning meeting at 8.30. So what I'm going to do is look at some stories I could pitch in that meeting. Usually I would be driving to the office and we'd be sitting around with all the reporters and other video journalists at a little bit of like a round table. But due to COVID-19, we're all working remotely. I'm usually checking like Twitter. We have an email where people can send tips in. And I'm kind of looking at one story. It was actually posted by a, a journalist. I went to school with her. Um, she did a piece for the Taiyi. Uh, we've got a pretty large homeless crisis here in Victoria. A lot of people camping out during the pandemic. And this group has, instead of waiting for the city to build these portable showers, they, they've created these shower structures and they're planning to place them. Hey, good morning. Shower people, that would still be good. Um, music venues, uh, Logan. So the the showers, I could totally do those. They hopefully will get back to me today. Sounds like I get to do that shower story, which is a super interesting one. So I'm gonna reach out to the group again, and I'm actually gonna reach out to some of the city councillors uh, in the city of Victoria and see if any of them will comment. And now it's just making calls and hopefully someone gets back to me right away, or the story could get switched. That's the, that's the game. You can put in all this effort in the morning, but you never really know what you're doing until it's all filmed and you're sitting down editing. Hey, Craig. Yeah. Hey, it's Julian calling. How are you? So thank you so much. Yeah, thanks a lot. All right, talk, chat soon. Yeah. Bye. Yes, okay, that's exactly what I needed today. That's the key interview. Uh, that's the main, someone from the actual group who constructed those. So now that they can talk, really the story's in motion. It's a little late right now, it's close to noon. I usually wanna be out in the morning, maybe around 10 o'clock or earlier already on the road shooting. We always start with uh, the hardest question, the name and the spelling of your name. Yeah, name is great, we're slow at getting bathroom facilities and they still are stalling and getting access to showers. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I'll awesome. just I'll just text you the address and then That'd do you know fun. what time Just like that, we're done. We gotta break everything down and we have an interview with a Victoria City Councilor in about 20 minutes. So we gotta go straight there. Been, you've been very aware of the situation. Right? Yeah. Prior to uh, coming to, uh, to, to being elected to work here at City Hall, I, I worked at our Interview done. It's almost 2 o'clock. I like to have everything done by 2 o'clock. So now I've got to really focus hard on getting this all done right away. I just got to Beacon Hill Park. This is where there is a large tent encampment for people who are experiencing homelessness. Okay, it's always good to grab fresh viz, new visuals showing the current situation, but to save time, we're gonna have to use some older footage, file video, and now we're gonna head to the showers. Did he, did uh, Craig give you a little warning that I was coming? Okay, yeah. wonderful. Would either of you be able to show me the showers or would you be willing to go on camera? All right, there they are. So when you have no one around, you gotta get creative. You gotta, uh, you know, zoom and pan around and try to make it interesting. Now I'm, I'm a little bit late. I've gotta go find a spot where I've got good reception, which I'm gonna check right now. Yeah, there's decent reception on here. I'm gonna park up somewhere, start editing, and get this to air as fast as I can. A little float plane, a little bit of ocean. Picked a decent spot. Okay, we have to get set up super quick now. 
I've got a couple tricks. I've got a box. This box goes perfectly in my center console for the mouse. And I've got my laptop here. There's the setup. There's the perfectly placed mouse. I am doing uh, the intro, the lead to the story. So, you know, a group has taken hygiene for homeless campers into their own hands. And then you write out like that. And then I'm gonna make my way through the script. I am logging footage. Getting access to showers. I kind of remember what they both said and the main points they hit. So now it's matching the storyline to what they say to, everything together it's it's this is the hard part and i am pressed for time right now while i do that i have this open it's called octopus it's basically our, our script program it keeps time track of all the times and helps us see where we are in the show it's a basic sanitation that the city is not the city is not providing and i understand the need but the city is bound by yeah, bound by hey Hey, I just made a few tweaks. Like, I think the opening needs to be a bit stronger. Yep. Um, okay. Sweet, you're the best. Thanks, Joe. Okay, thanks. Bye. Thanks, bye. They're not approved by the city of Victoria, but these homemade showers could soon be in Beacon Hill Park. Hey, believing everyone deserves basic sanitation now, even if it's homemade. Okay, five seconds of pad. We're done. Okay, we gotta send this immediately. Holy cow. Oh, man. Come on, hurry up. Okay. Drag it over, there we go. This is a pretty common strategy. <laughs> it's the most most nerve wracking part. You just hope nothing goes wrong. You hope it gets in time. All that work, all of your day pays off. There we go. But my job is not done yet. I gotta do keys now. When someone appears on screen, you see that lower third graphic with their name and their position. Your name is Craig Turney, uh, C-R-A-I-G. We've made our slot, all the keys are in. Just before I do my web post, I kind of want to watch the news and see what happened today. As Julian Colsuit tells us, they were spurred to take action after what they say has been a slow response from the city. They're not approved by the city of Victoria, but these homemade showers could soon be in Beacon Hill Park. It's a risk though, the group says they're willing to take, believing everyone deserves basic sanitation now, even if it's homemade. A church in there we go all that work and it it made it to air that is <laughs> that's a great feeling now i've got to start my web post what a beautiful place to end the day and that is what a day as a video journalist looks like. And it's a little bit of a crazy job. You're shooting, you're editing, you're writing, you're voicing, you're coordinating. You never really know what to expect or how your story will do. Feels a little extra special when that original story you start with makes it through because sometimes you have to switch and it's a really cool job. You really never know where you're gonna end up or what your final story will look like. It's a beautiful place to end up here. Thank you so much for watching. And as for what story is next, well, I don't really know. That's the fun of the job. I don't know where I'll end up tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. It's, uh, it's a really cool job.